Today, we're gonna review an electric scooter that can supposedly go 50 miles per hour, <laughs> has a 6,000 watt peak power, can have 62 miles of range, and is available for 1,600 bucks. So what is this scooter? What's it all about? Let's crack it open and see. It's called the Cursor Raw GT3. Is that how you pronounce it? And dang, look at these street tires. So this thing comes with either off-road tires or street tires. We'll have to check this manual out. Actually, check this out. Here's the color controls. Yeah, we'll check this out. And it looks like it must be disc brakes because there are an extra set of pads. Please don't get cut by a staple. Please don't get... Ugh. Interesting design. Definitely got some weight to it. it. Says this box weighs 118 pounds. I don't know if that's true. No way this thing can weigh that much. Oh. The first thing that I'm noticing that's different about this scooter compared to other ones I've tried, this whole front wheel assembly, the whole thing rotates instead of just the handlebars. Second thing I'm noticing is these are 11 inch wheels instead of 10 inch wheels. And these are tubeless tires. 90 by 65, 6.5. Made in China. Tuved. Taking a peek at the motor here, we see it is listed as a uh, KR 3000 watt on the front. There's the full numbers for you with disc brakes on the front. And of course it is a dual motor scooter. So we get the same exact motor on the rear. They are hydraulic brakes and there's a mono shock on the rear, but the front has dual shocks. And compared to other scooters I've tried, this one appears to have much more involved of a assembly process. And another thing that's different about this scooter is this one comes with a seat. Get a bundle of duels. And the dual crown fork appears to have some sort of carbon fiber pattern. Some uh, bug eyes up here. Looks somewhat aggressive and cute at the same time. The red knobs up here give it a little bit of a racy look. First indicator of 50 MPH. Bro, that reminds me of something right there. Does that logo look familiar? Hmm, we'll have to look at that. I'm not really sure how the heck to build this thing. I don't know how I feel about having a quick release lever on, uh, why can I not figure this out, man? Quick release. Oh, there's the problem. That that's not the lever. This this is the lever. Okay. 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 There we go. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that uh the works. It's Dan. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but do you find that a little bit terrifying that this thing could in theory just kind of drop down while you're going 50 miles an hour? Dude, is this is this seriously how you drop this down? Like you pull this? Is that how it works? No. Yes? No? I don't know, dude. Oh. Holy crap, dude. So if you're riding, <laughs> if you're riding this thing, oh my god. Oh no, 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 I'm wrong, dude. It looks like this is like a safety mechanism. So like you pull this thing up like this, and now you can't just like pull that off anymore. <laughs> so while we're here, it has a sandpaper deck, fully sandpaper, pretty wide, and then back here, there is like a little seat post, seat deal. How does this thing work? A lot of latchets and gadgets here. And then it looks like this one has adjustable height handlebars that accurate handlebars on. Up here on the dash, we get ergonomic grips. Not bolted down, so they will rotate. Eco, turbo, single, dual, the good old MS668 display. Throttle. We'll check these signals out and horn. Should be a voltage readout. Set of keys. DY Island hydraulic disc brakes. The big 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery pack sits in here with dual charging ports, which they give us a battery charger. It is a two amp charger. Output is 67.2 volts, which is the max charge of a 60 volt battery. You could charge it with one port to uh, preserve the life of your battery by having a slower charge rate. But if you're riding one of these scooters, you already know you only live once. So you can double your charge rate at the sacrifice of battery life cycles by running the second charger. 35 amp hours divided by four amps. So that'd be about 8.75 hours to charge from empty to full. Let's see how full they are from the factory. Oh, nice, 62.8. So that's about mm, roughly 70% or so. We got a few, couple hours, probably a few hours. Around back here, we get turn signals. Here's what they look like. Here's what they actually look like. Oh, wow, blue. Dang, fancy. Boing. And while we're up here, let's check out the horn. <laughs> it sounds crazy, man, like a fire alarm or something. Oh my God, that is loud. My ears are ringing. Oh, you can have both signals on at the same time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I don't know if I love this area to like plant your foot and get leverage. And also it has the seat option. So I'm not really sure if I want to ride this thing standing up or sitting down. I mean, this is already on there. Hmm, seems safe. What in the world is going on with this thing? Is this even real life? What do you think of the new toy? Not much from this thing. That seems like hefty. But why is there like, is this called a crown fork? 
Yeah, Dog Crown Fork. Why does it have that? Suspension? 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 All the suspension. This thing better be like right in a cloud. Let's try out the lights. They rotate with the steering. So I guess being way down here, uh, you get a little better aerodynamics. A little less of a footprint. I mean, that was a seat on minimum height. Here's max, I guess. No. <laughs> Here's Max, and I am six foot five and have an inseam of 34. My knees feel dangerously close to this dual ground fork. I don't know how I feel about this seat. Let's try out the lights on. Press this button for five seconds. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Dang. Wow. So let's try out some modes here. Auto. Uh, let's press red. Nice. Green, blue, yellow, pink. So you can put it on this auto mode. Oh, so just kind of run in here. Turn up the speed. Oh yeah, pretty neat. Okay, I'm leaving it on auto. It's a party now. What a billboard. So the front has these little red glowy lights. I don't think they change. They look a little bit menacing. Here's what the party looks like from over here. Volt turn signals. We're going both ways, bruh. <laughs> Dude, this thing is an absolute party now. These lights actually look blue to my eye. I don't know why they look purple on camera. Oh, that's cool. Wow, this is really awesome. As if LA isn't a confusing enough place, you just drive <laughs> around with both of your turn signals. <laughs> All right, cover your ears a little bit and then tell me what you think of the horn. Oh my God! Ah! Jeez. Yeah, people are gonna move. <laughs> they're gonna fall they're off their bike. they're not startled and frozen. <laughs> Alright dudes, I'm having a little bit of a struggle here. I don't know if I'm gonna ride this thing with the seat on it or the seat off of it. Because like with the seat off of it, these handlebars are really freaking low. But with the seat on it, I don't know, this, <laughs> this doesn't feel so natural either. Like the seat's not really wanting to stay um, <laughs> in place either. Okay, that's scary. <laughs> Scooters are not scary. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I might have to do it this way. I'm just a little scared for my kneecaps here. This thing has like 15 suspension systems on it. Boing, boing, boing. Who's the target audience for this bike? Um, Scooter. You. You. Alright. Alright, dudes. I think I see. I think I see how to change these handlebars. Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. You press this button in here. Oh yeah, adjustable height handlebars. There's three different heights. Oh my goodness, this thing is a monster truck now. It's like the grave digger with those headlights. All right, handlebars on max height now. Six foot five, dude. Third floor inseam. Getting on this scooter. These handlebars feel like the right height now for me. It doesn't. They feel like they got a little bit of flex to them a little bit. Let's do it. Oh, the suspension's different. Has those dual shocks. I'm scared. Oh, there's a lag on it. Ultra sketchy. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap, this thing's heavy. Two. Oh yeah. Definitely a lag on the throttle. Three. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. This thing sounds intense. Here's what it looks like when you gun it. Here's the delay. Ready? Hit it! Alright dudes, another day, another death trap. Does this thing look like a minion to you guys? And of course, we'll start the straw to track our official distance and range. And I'm gonna bring a little wrench here, because I don't know if I'm just gonna take this thing off and throw it in the bushes or something. Last order of business here, we will track our official GPS speed. Full charge, 666. Uh, this thing might be a little bit evil. Let's uh, give it a, oh, oh, lag. All right, let's just go ahead and give this thing a go. Get a little push off here. I don't even know what mode I'm on, but let's give it a try. I think I'm standing on the 
the signal back there, the turn signal on the back. So definitely a lag on that throttle. I can feel right away. And to start, I'm gonna stand like basically standing back here with the foot back here and one up here on the front. The lag on this thing is like really not good at all. <laughs> I don't even know what mode I have this on. So I think I was on turbo mode. Now we are on, I don't even know, dude. I'll press the dual motor button. You can feel this thing's got a little bit of weight to it for sure. Okay, this is like eco mode now. So I'm on like the, the chill mode. So you can kind of do this thing like standing with the seat on it. So it is on eco mode, single motor, and we will squeeze through right here. No pets, says nothing about no scooters. All right, so wide open throttle here on like a single mode. Already going 17 miles an hour, eight, 19 miles an hour according to GPS. Hydraulic brakes feel good. And I'm definitely standing basically on the uh, turn signal. All right, I'm gonna put it on turbo mode, single motor. You know, honestly, I can't even tell the difference between turbo and eco on single motor. I'm gonna switch it to dual motor now. And now press on the throttle here. We're on mode one. Oh yeah, we're on dual motor. Is it single or? I can't tell, man. Uh, let's put it on mode number two now and give it full throttle. Oh yeah, now feeling that power. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Oh dude, the lag on the throttle. When you let off, it keeps giving it power for like another I don't even know. Burning rubber, baby. So this one has the 11 inch tall wheels and these are like street tires. See if they have any more grip than a not street tire. Oh my goodness, this thing hauls. So I gotta try and shift more of my weight up on the front. I don't even know if we're on dual motor turbo or not. Oh my God. All right, we'll flip it on eco. Okay, yeah, so this is eco mode, power level three. First thing, this thing is reading in kilometers, so this display here is going to be completely worthless. Let me try sitting down on this thing, because this is not... <laughs> what a weird feeling being like this. Oh my god, dude, this this uh, is not very confidence inspiring on this when it's on its full extension. So it is on full extension right now, but it's got some wiggle to it, and... With all this power, I just, you know, I'm on eco mode, dual motor, but dude, I feel like this thing could just snap off and smash me in the face. <laughs> oh, there's really no need to do a hill test on this. I was gonna go to the parking garage and do my hill test. I'm gonna lower this down, but yeah, this thing, this thing has obscene amounts of torque. I don't think you would have any problem climbing any hill. Let's put this down on the lowest setting and sitting on the seat now, I cannot see this volt voltmeter output like at all in the sun. Oh, this feels way more better. My knees are like right on the stanchions though. You know, my legs are long. Oh, okay. This is nice. So mode number three here, cruising. Okay, I'm liking it. You know, when the handlebars are down, it makes a total difference. Uh, feels way more like planted. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's come to a stop here and put it on turbo, uh, dual motor tur turbo. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of juice in this. Woo. Oh, 32. Man, that is such a terrifying feeling. Dude, the lag on the throttle makes this thing feel like freaking unusable to some degree. I mean, it's usable, but you gotta like, you know, give yourself basically a little bit of play and you know, when, when you're gonna go and when you're gonna stop going. Skirt, full throttle, baby. All right, all right, all right. So sitting on this seat is actually like comfortable sitting on the seat. Yeah, it's got that suspension seat post and the seat itself feels uh, very, um, you know, economical price-wise, let's say that. But it's comfortable to sit on. It's squishy, don't know how durable it is. Woo! Just kind of cruising here at 32. I'm not really full throttle on it yet, man. I'm not really, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% confident that this thing's just not gonna totally collapse on me as I'm riding it. I mean, the scooter does cost $1,600. It's not cheap, it's not, you know, like a premium priced here by any means for a scooter. Oh man, but that throttle, that juice. Woo, 35, 38. Oh my goodness, dude. These scooters are freaking rush. All right, dude, feeling it, man, feeling it. This thing is, uh. A cheap thrill so far. In terms of the display, you just get this basic MS668 thing. It does not even tell you if you're on eco, turbo, anything like that. You can just have to feel it by the buttons. I don't even know what it's set on right now. Oh yeah, it's set on. Let's go mode, baby. <laughs> All right, so we're on three. Yeah, three, but it's on eco. So eco, I mean, you could probably get some serious range out of this thing just cruising on eco, switching motors. Yeah, so we're on dual motor eco. Makes it substantially more tame once you go on that turbo mode. 
Ain't no going back, baby. These tires actually get more grip, I feel like, than the last scooter I was on because these are street tires. In terms of suspension, it's hard to really say. There's so many different springs going on. You know, there's a spring in the seat. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's get out on the road. It's gonna be quite the experience sitting on a scooter riding on the highway on this thing. Here it goes, dude, the, high, the highway. This is not really a highway, but it's not, it's not a low way either. Let's get moving on this sidewalk, dude. Oh my God. All right, we're just gonna pop right out here in traffic right in front of this Corolla behind me. I wish I had some mirrors. Let's do some lane splitting on this. Lane splitting on the scooter. So this is 6,000 watt peak, 3,000 watts per motor. I don't know if I should go ahead of these cars or just kind of work my way in here. It's like, I guarantee you I'm gonna accelerate faster than this Jeep. Dude from Louisiana, like what are these Californians doing? Come on, bro, speed up. Part that scares me is the potholes on this road right now. I'm gonna have to, Give this car some distance. Full throttle, baby! Woo, 40 miles an hour, dude. Oh God, dude, I'm so scared about a pothole just showing up behind this car. All right, man, I think this thing has proven itself. We need to start lane splitting, getting through the slow cars here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh gosh. Full throttle! Watch out, bro! Little minions coming for you, dude. It's gotta be crazy seeing this like minion rolling up on you. These lights, I swear it looks like a little minion light. All right, so I'm like maxing this thing out already. Holy crap, dude, 41. Brakes are fine, brakes are fine. Oh my God, dude, I just, I can't believe they make scooters that go this fast. These things are just absolutely outrageous. So it's a 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery pack. So we should be able to haul some butt today, man. I think, I think we could race this dude in the, uh, what is this thing even? The, GT3 RS. Man, that thing sounds wicked, dude. So I'll give you guys an attempt here at like a zero to 20 acceleration. Uh, GPS lags, I weigh 200 pounds. We're on max modes. Full throttle, I'll lean forward, ready. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'll try that one more time. We gotta ease on the throttle. Ready, go. Warp speed, 25. Thousand, dude, this is just, I don't know, man. I can't measure, honestly. Like I said in my other scooter reviews, I can't really imagine wanting to accelerate any faster than this thing can accelerate. I gotta say, man, um, I was a little sketched out by this seat, but being on it right now, um, this is kind of a relief just being able to basically sit in pretty much a chair with handles that goes 40 some. Let's figure it out. How fast does it go? All right, dudes, we're gonna do a little high speed run here. We're gonna whip it around here so we have a little bit of a tailwind. A little bit of tail in starting tps at zero sorry you can't see anything there by the way 200 pounds we're gonna ease on the throttle everything's on max and for the most terrifying part of these reviews full throttle so sitting on the seat maybe a little bit better wind resistance oh my god Woo! 50 Holy crap, dude, my glove got stuck on there. Dude, that said 50 on the GPS. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And the, oh man, I better not take my hands off this steering wheel. Holy crap, dude, this thing is freaking crazy. So yeah, a little bit of tailwind there, but the throttle, like you see my little, the little hook thing there? It was like, you know, I was like stuck on full throttle for a second. Oh my God, dude. They just keep getting faster, dude. I have to say, this is a juice joyride. Bike lane. This is a bike, right? $18 for a spot here. Wonder if it could go in the sand. Dude, honestly, this thing feels like a 50 mile an hour wheelchair. Another thing it kind of feels like is a bicycle that just gives a giant middle finger to pedals and any sort of resemblance of looking like a bicycle at all. <laughs> Steering is, you know, fine. Um, it doesn't feel like all twitchy and stuff, which is great. A couple of these scooters I've been on, you know, steering felt really, really twitchy. Not to say that it's not twitchy at all, but you know, it's making some sort of noise. Like a knocking noise on the back. Can you guys hear that? They're tubeless tires. So while we're here on these street tires, I don't know if I should be a little bit more concerned about traction, you know, going like over this sand stuff, because, oh my God. And it, like the delay on the throttle, it's like I let off and I'm still burning out like a quarter second later. That actually looks pretty clean. That graffiti is usually a mess out there. Bro, we are rolling up on a car shell. Let's bring this car. Show them what the electricity is all about up in here. The seat feels like I'm about to like just tip over off the back. What is this? Original old school fixes. I'm not really sure what this is all about, but you can stand up.
up on this thing with the big stand. So I gotta admit, it's kind of nice rolling around sitting on the seat and <laughs> just having access to the throttle, not even worrying about pedals at all. It looks pretty clean. A little tour of old school gasoline powered. Dang, that is a bad car right there. So I get a little range update for you guys. We are 6.43 miles into this ride and showing 60, 63.5 volts on the voltmeter. Oh yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> this bro knows nothing about the scooter we on. And also, those police up there know nothing about the scooter we on too. I think we're on eco mode right now. Never really know with this thing, let's give it a go. I don't even know, I still don't even know. All right, dudes, what we're gonna do is trying to uh, stand on this scooter now. Handlebars are raised up to maximum. And you know, it's honestly really not bad. Like my knee kind of just has like somewhere to rest against this like little seat pad. I wonder if this thing can do any off-roading. Let's try and go up this hill here a little bit. Oh, I think it's only a single motor. We're gonna have to give it another go here. Dual motor, street tires. Oh my goodness, dude. The front end just was like totally wheeling the whole time. So riding off-road, it actually feels fine, man. Suspension is like, it feels pretty cushy up here. It's not too bad at all. Losing that front wheel, oh my God, dude. I gotta say my biggest gripe with this scooter so far is just literally like never knowing like what mode I'm on. Like when the front wheel's uh, ripping out like that, I know it's on dual motor, but is it on, even on eco? And then there's three modes up here too. So you have like a total of like 12 different modes or something. And there's no, just nothing shows you on the dashboard. Uh, what mode you're on. I don't know how I feel about these tires on the sand here because <laughs> they're street tires. Wee woos are coming for somebody. Maybe me next. <laughs> so I don't know if I like standing on this thing or sitting on this thing more. It's like you can kind of just do both which is nice to give you some options really. Popping up here man I'm like a freaking giant. Dude this is like chest level for me. <laughs> So imagine how high my head is out here. I saw that and I was like, dude, that's the new solar eclipse. How you doing, man? Exposed carbon fiber. A regen lever here. New that grips. Bro, just ran into Lewis from solar. I will be having that scooter, that exact scooter on the channel very soon. Huh, wonder what happened here. All the fire trucks, paramedics are out. Oh gosh, there's a stretcher out here too. All right, dudes, let's try this thing on a couple hills. Crank it on up to mode number three. Feels like that's probably max mode. <laughs> Rolling in here about 12, 10. Oh yeah, we're just peeling out. Burning rubber, oh my God, dude. Yeah, I can climb hills. This hill, to be specific. Joy rides, not juiced joy rides. Let's go try the California incline. California incline is right down here. Oh my goodness. Peeling out, going like, oh my God, dude. The amount of power that this thing has, like once you're still going like 20 or 30 is just crazy, buddies. Oh my goodness. Dude, that chick is like just swerving everywhere. So am I. <laughs> Dude, it's got everything he needs in life. A uh, bike and a guitar. You might recognize it from GTA 5. The California Incline is right up there. It's that hill right there. 85 feet tall, 12% grade. He's on that throttle. All right, see what mode this thing's on. I think that would be eco. It's not burning out that bad. So I press the button here. And we'll see how it can handle going into the loop. Oh yeah, now it's on max settings here. <laughs> we'll see. How, how it handles, I guess, going uphill. So it's got the power, the, the control is another factor. The front wheel is just out of control. And the lag makes it so like twitchy. Oh, and let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I guess we're doing this. And I'm gonna get on the throttle here at some point when it, I can't even get on it, dude. It's like, all right, here we go. All right, there we go, wide open throttle. Oh my God, dude. This thing is freaking, holy smokes. This is dangerous, man. All right, I'm letting off. It says 39 going up the California incline. And we'll say the brakes are good enough, dude. That, that was crazy, dude. This thing just freaking hauls. And in such an uncontrollable way. Oh, man, you gotta really be easy on that throttle. But we were, we were. Yeah, brakes are good enough to stop us before we go flying off there, but we were just down there on the bicycle path. Sorry to let you guys down, but I just do not think I have the cojones to gun it going all the way down this thing. I'm guessing they do more than 50. Give it a little brake test here from about 20. I don't know how I'm gonna know how, how I'm going 20 because I don't have my speedometer thing, but oh man, that back tire just totally locks up. Look at the skid marks that back tire is making down there. Oh. 
thing is a freaking missile, dude. All right, dude, it's been out here for about an hour and a half, showing 61.0 volts on there, although you'd never be able to tell uh, looking at it in the sun. So we're gonna head on home, see what the final range is. And to leave you with some final thoughts on this scooter compared to other stuff I've tried. I mean, you know, compared to like the Apollo scooter, this is uh, way like more thrilling, uh, but also way less like predictable, like way, uh, I don't know how to explain it. And you know, comparing this to say the Makuda, the Makuda is a little more expensive and I'd say has about 90% of the thrill. That one hits like 45 miles an hour. This one does like 50 from what I saw. But the Makuda scooter had a uh, perfect throttle response. So uh, I'd say, you know, just having like excellent throttle control is probably worth the uh, extra money for the Makuda, honestly. But this one does have the uh, seat on it, which is nice. I don't know if you can do that on like the Makuda or like the Apollo. And compared to that scary fast scooter or whatever, this one pretty much, you know, blows it away, but obviously, you know, this one costs like a solid, like six or 700 bucks more than that one. So let's go check the final range on this thing. See what this thing's got left in it. Full throttle, baby. Keeping up with the, the Outback. 40, 43, 45, woohoo! 46, 50, oh! <laughs> Bro, nothing like having a scooter that can just absolutely dominate traffic. Do a little lane splitting. <laughs> lane splitting on a freaking scooter, dude. This thing is outrageous. I don't know what it is with that back wheel, but it's like wobbling. Uh, I can feel it shaking. See the handlebars like wobbling a little bit. So dude's rolling up on basically 20 miles, 19 and a half miles, uh, almost two hours of ride time. This volt meter here is showing mm, 50. 57 point basically 58 volts and this one's showing 58 point nine so i don't know why this one's reading a volt higher than this one regardless showing two uh bars so that would be just under about 50 percent battery life you know 40 35 40 percent remaining so i had an absolute blast on this thing today and i can tell the juice is kind of starting to sizzle out just a little bit uh, you can check the link below to check this scooter out, or you can watch this video next. Thanks for watching, dudes. Catch you next time.